Are you an HF uh, radio operator? Perhaps you live in a uh, fairly busy built up area and yet you want to work DX. I mean, I'm surrounded at the moment by traffic going past. That may be your typical location. Maybe you're fortunate, you're perhaps in a slightly quieter location. We're told that we should aim for five degree angle of radiation because that's a nice low angle of radiation and it will give us DX. Where did this five degree angle come from? Who thought it up? It's not mentioned in the classic textbooks of a few years ago. It suddenly popped up five degrees. You know, I think if you believed in a flat world, in other words, if you belong to a flat world started, perhaps five degrees might make sense. But you lay down on the ground and look up at an angle of five degrees in your garden. You'll see next door's house and the house beyond and the house beyond. Maybe a whole housing estate. Trees, shrubs, railway embankments, massive great structures, all in the way of your five degree signal. There's no hope, is there? There's no hope for you actually making any DX contacts. And yet, you can. Many of us operate from smallish gardens and work DX. So let's, let's take a, a closer look at the reality of HF propagation and give us some hope, at least for those that have got small gardens and are surrounded by buildings. Oh, and by the way, apologies to members of the Flat Earth Society. I believe over the last 10 years, they've had at least five new members, although two of those did it for a bet. Well, we don't have a flat earth, but I think sometimes we can get mesmerised in thinking in terms of propagation as if we had a flat earth. I mean, we get told that the low angle radiation is something to be achieved if we want to work DX, which is quite right. And we understand that uh, the ionosphere reflects radio signals. There are three levels, uh, three different levels of ionosphere. You've got the D layer, the E layer, and the F layer, which very often breaks up into F1 and F2 layers. We can ignore the D layer, which really serves in most cases simply to absorb signals. Uh, the E layer, uh, a lot of the time, doesn't play um, much of a part in propagation. It can do, but it doesn't play a major part. The major part is played by the F layer, and we'll just regard that as one layer for the purpose of this discussion on angles of radiation. So, I think most of us understand that the way that shortwave signals are propagated is that they leave our antenna at a certain angle. They hit the uh, F layer, which uh, changes in height uh, during the day and night, and it's reflected back to Earth again at some distant point. So that really um, is how radio signals on the shortwave bands are propagated over great distances. And if you're in the middle of these two points, you're in what is known as the skip distance. The signal travels up over, the he over your head and you won't hear it at all. Now, if the Earth was flat, we could simply lower the angle of radiation on our antenna, or from our antenna, to say two degrees, even one degree, and the signal would travel thousands and thousands of miles. But unfortunately, our Earth is not flat. It's round, it's a globe. And that means to say that there's a limit to how far a signal will travel before it comes back to Earth. And that distance, as a rough rule of thumb, is a maximum of about 4,000 kilometers. Now, it will vary depending on the angle that the signal leaves your uh, antenna and the height of the F layer. But Basically, 4,000 kilometers is a rule of thumb as to about the farthest you can travel in one hop, which means to say that there is some other mechanism that enables us to talk to stations on the other side of the world. Now, viewers of this 
channel will know that I've got reservations about some of the computer design um, programs for antennas, particularly the free ones. I mean, the ones that you pay for are used by uh, guys who want to design antennas or companies who want to design antennas. The cut down freebie versions uh, give you some indication, but unfortunately, there's a lot of shortcomings. One of the shortcomings is when we look at low angle radiation. So I prefer to look at my textbooks that go back to the days when we didn't have computer programs. All the um, data was collected by real time field measurements, measurements in the field. And really and truly, you can't argue with the measurements that are made in the field. They are the sort of the real life situation. So let me show you um, a couple of, uh, of, of drawings here and just to demonstrate the point. Here's a drawing of a quarter wave vertical. It was published in QEX magazine by W7SX and it shows the radiation pattern of a quarter wave vertical over a perfectly infinitely long ground. And you see that we've got lovely low angle radiation right down to zero degrees. But then we look at a real world drawing of a vertical antenna, same vertical antenna, and you'll see that the low angle radiation has been modified somewhat. And notice that low um, broken line just above the horizon on the right hand side. That is what is known as the Brewster effect. And now look at this drawing taken from a, a RSGB handbook um, around about 1965, I think it was, again before computer programs were available. And you can see that shaded area. That shaded area is what is known as the Brewster effect. It's cancellation of the wave that occurs at very low levels caused by typical ground. In other words, not a perfect ground. It's a, it's a typical ground you might come across. And you see you've got cancellation. So there is no five degree radiation. So we've seen as far as verticals are concerned, you can't really get down to five degree radiation. It doesn't actually exist. It's cancelled out. So what about the horizontal antennas, the doublet, the dipole or the yagi? Well, in order to get down to 10 degrees, you've got to have the antenna at a height of one and a half wavelengths. That means to say on the 20 meter band, you need your antenna at 100 feet. Well, there's not many stations in the UK that can get an antenna up at 100 feet. And if you do, you've only reached the 10 degree point. You've got to go even higher to get down to five degrees. 10 meters, okay, well, 50 feet, it might be possible, but you still only got down to 10 degree radiation angle. Five degrees is still not reachable. So really in practical terms, we really shouldn't use five degrees as a measurement at all because it's not been realistic. Perhaps 10 degrees would be a bit more realistic. Maybe even a bit higher, 15 degrees or even 20 degrees. We'll come back to that in a minute. So let's look at a practical example. We want to get our signal from the UK across to the United States or Canada. We can't do it in one hop, we know that. Because the maximum distance we can cover is 4,000 kilometers. Some papers say two and a half thousand miles, but either way, either measurement is not going to reach the coast of America, let alone anywhere, anywhere further in. So we use something called multi-hop. Now multi-hop is what it suggests. The signal leaves our antenna at a certain angle. It goes up through the D layer, through the E layer, reflected by the F layer, comes down. And in the case of going across the Atlantic, it hits seawater. Seawater is a superb reflector. So our signal is reflected up again, goes back through the D layer, through the E layer, and hits the F layer to be then bent back down again. And because it's two hops, that lands us nicely into the eastern side of America or into Canada. But it also means to say that because we've got two hops, we don't have to have ultra low angle radiation. An angle of around about 15, 20, even 25 degrees will probably land us into 
America or Canada. So we don't actually have to have very low angle radiation to work DX. And of course you can get multi-hops, you can get three hops and so forth. So you don't have to have ultra low angle radiation in order to work DX. And as we've just proved to ourselves, you're not likely to get anything below 10 degrees anyway. And if you've got a low antenna, where the takeoff angle is around about 20, 25, or even 30 degrees, you can still work DX because very often you can get multi-hop propagation. Let me give you a practical example. I've got a half-size G5RV in the garden. It's only about 30, 32 foot high above the ground. And I've been operating on 40 meters. Now, at that sort of height, it's only a quarter wave above the ground level. So there's lots of high angle radiation. Forget low angle radiation. You know, 10, 10 degrees doesn't exist really. It starts to give something around about 20, 25 degrees. But that's nowhere near the low angle radiation that we believe we need. And yet, I can go on in the evening and I can work stations in the USA and in the Caribbean regularly, almost nightly. And it's because I get multi-hop propagation at that sort of angle. So don't run away with the idea that you must have low angle radiation to work DX. Yes, it does help and it helps in quite a few cases, but it's not always the best height. If you've got a multi-hop propagation path, sometimes a higher angle of radiation gives you a stronger signal. So bear that in mind. It's quite an interesting thought, isn't it? Nature's wonderful, isn't it? It's through nature that we can communicate on the shortwave bands. Through that top layer, the F layer, reflecting or bending our signals back down to a far point on the globe. But we've also learnt that there is no real low angle radiation signals from a vertical, not ultra low angle. Five degrees doesn't exist. The best we can hope for is perhaps 10 degrees. We've seen because of the Brewster effect that uh, there is cancellation of the waves at very low, uh, freq uh, very low angles of radiation. Maybe you could measure it close in, but it's far field. Um, there won't be any five degree. 10 degrees is what uh, we can really hope for. And when it comes to horizontal antennas, what we've seen that you've got to have a horizontal antenna way up in the air to even get 10 degrees. Five degrees is just not going to happen in the real world. So perhaps 10 degrees should be our reference point. But we've also learned, of course, that not all DX is worked through low angle radiation. Very often with multi-hop or multi-skip propagation, the optimum angle is probably nearer 20, 25 or 30 degrees. And that sort of angle just so happens to be the sweet spot of a typical half-wave antenna, a half-wave above the ground. So there is hope for those with modest antennas, with wire antennas, with smallish gardens, to work DX. And in the last few days I've been working VK and ZL on 40 metres from my half-wave dipole at a quarter wave above ground level. It's only 30 two feet above ground level, this half-wave dipole. Well, in actual fact, it's a, it's a half-size 5 v but it's basically a dipole. And that's 32, 33 foot above ground, which is a, which is a quarter wave on a 40 meter band. So it's predominantly high angle radiation. And yet I'm working into VK and ZL. Well, it's obviously multi-hot. So the message is, don't get disheartened don't think that there is really low angle radiation from vertical because there isn't. 10 degrees and better, but not below 10 degrees. And don't be disheartened with your half wave antenna or your dipole or your doublet, which is only a quarter wave above ground on 40 metres because you can work the DX. And of course, on 20 metres, that 30 foot or so above ground will be a half wave on 20 metres and be a nice sweet spot, this sort of 20 or 30 degree angle of radiation. So there we are. I hope that's given you some encouragement and also given you some information perhaps you didn't know. It's amazing, isn't it, the shortwave bands? How we propagate our signals around the globe 
all due to Mother Nature and predominantly the F layer. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been useful. Thank you for your support on this channel. Thank you for the support you give us at the shop. Much appreciated. In the meantime, enjoy your home radio. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.